You'll often find that when you're around a narcissistic person, you can no longer think clearly. You can no longer think for yourself. You often question who you are. You often find yourself full of worry about saying the wrong thing to someone. You often end up apologising often for things that you haven't done. And this is usually down to the narcissist brainwashing of you where a narcissist is going to go all out to influence you to change your beliefs, to change your attitude, to change your behaviour in order to comply with their demands of you. Now, narcissistic people don't just walk straight into your life and you fall in love with an abuser. They don't do this. You wouldn't stand for this. The majority of people would not put up with this. With a narcissistic person, unless you're unfortunately and unfortunate enough to be born into a narcissistic family, then they might treat you poorly from the offset because you're a young child and there's no escape. However, the majority of narcissistic people will come along and treat you better than anybody ever has. They will do for you because they want to look good, because they want to gain supply, they want to gain that admiration, they want to use the things they do for you against you. So when you first meet them, they're going to start off brainwashing you by selling you an illusion of who they could be and not who they actually are. And it's usually, that illusion is usually based on who you are as a person. They're going to mirror you and future fake with you so that they can get their needs met by you. Anything that you would like, any desires you have, they are going to sell them to you as though they want them to and you can achieve them together. So that you have a false belief of who they are and what life could be like with them. And then they are going to systematically break you down. Once they've got you where they want you, once they've got you seeing the good in them, which is the manipulation in them and the deception in them, for them to exploit you, they are going to begin a pattern of behaviours in order to isolate you because it's easier for them to get you to conform to their demands if they have isolated you from all forms of support, friends, family, financial. They're going to go all out to instill fear into you. They're going to go all out to criticise you any way they can, devalue you, make you feel like you're worth less than you are, make you feel like you're not capable, make you feel like you're nothing without them and that you're lucky to have them putting up with you. They're going to instill fear of loss of love. They're going to instill fear of poverty within you so that you don't break free from them. They are systematically going to break down your identity. They're going to criticise you on a continued pattern so that you question who you are. And it starts off so subtly that you don't even recognise it's happening or they just offer you those backhanded compliments of, oh, I didn't think you'd be able to do that. Well done. So you're not quite sure whether it's a compliment or an insult. And then if you do call them out on the insult, they're going to turn around and claim, oh, you're a bit too sensitive. I was only joking. Why can't you take a joke? They're literally brainwashing you to doubt everything you think, feel and experience as they are going to gaslight your reality. They're going to tell you that things that did happen never happened and things that never happened did happen. And as you're looking for open communication, you want to discuss these things with you with them, then they don't want this open com communication. They want to shut this down. They're going to fall silent on you and find a way to blame you. And as we all know that potentially if somebody hurts us in a manner, we might not feel up to open communication. So then we question what we did to offend them and not the mind game they're playing to brainwash us into conforming to living life on their terms. When they've devalued you, when they've continuously criticised you and put you down, they go all out to humiliate you. They go all out to shame you and they go all out to blame you. 
So you're the one that's left feeling like you're the narcissistic one. You're the one that's left feeling like you're causing all the problems within the relationship. You're the one that's got nobody to turn to because they've isolated you. You're the one that ends up fawning to their behaviour as a survival mechanism as it's easier than confronting their behaviour while you're left questioning yourself and believing usually from the criticism and the words that they repeatedly say to you that it's your fault because they will come at you time and time again and say it's your fault or claim if you hadn't I wouldn't or turn around and just say I'm sorry I forgot you were perfect so you're the one that's left in ruins picking up the pieces of yourself that's just been destroyed they tell you that you're incapable of doing something some directly tell you that you shouldn't do that others will say I wouldn't do that if I was you that's not really for you is it? Because they don't want to see you succeed because they're envious of you. They want to isolate you. They want to devalue you. And once they've got you in that place and you're no longer serving them, they go all out to discard you. And in their discard, in some cruel and horrific ways, they go all out to provoke a reaction from you, to provoke jealousy and envy within you because everything they once promised you, they're now delivering to somebody new. And even if you don't want them back, even if you know deep down inside that you need to get out of that situation, you've still got a lot to process and work through. So you might react negatively towards them, to which they're going to tell everyone that you're bitter, you're jealous, you're insecure. And when you stand up to them because you've had enough and you're no longer willing to play their games, they're going to tell everyone that you're bitter, you're jealous and you're insecure. So if you react, you're the bitter, jealous one. If you stand up to them, you're the bitter, jealous one. You can't win. And as they're busy brainwashing somebody new, they're the one who is being nice. They're the one who is trying to look good in front of others. They're the one who's impressing the strangers to get the enablers to stand up for them, get the flying monkeys to attack you, abuse by proxy, so that they don't have to face the consequences of the things they've done. And if those flying monkeys ever speak to the narcissist, the narcissist will simply say, I never asked you to do that. And as they only indirectly asked, they didn't actually ask. So then the flying monkeys feel guilty and remorseful. Being brainwashed you often are left with feelings of overwhelm because you just can't work out what's happening. You're left with depression. You're left with anxiety. So you become, you begin to feel uneasy around those you should feel at with. And then you begin to feel uneasy around others. You fear the car on the drive, the key in the door, the phone. You become so anxious that you can also begin to isolate yourself from people. And then when you're isolating yourself from people, you believe that it's you that's isolated yourself and not the narcissist that's done that to you. So when they then stand there and say, you need to go out more, you should go and see your friends, you should go and see your family, because you're overwhelmed and depressed and anxious and you've become withdrawn and you've become resentful and you've become angry you don't want to see your friends and family yet they're telling you you should so you believe they're being supported of you when they're the one who is actually destroying you so you don't recognize they are the ones who has isolated you it can leave you with things like cptsd as you struggle from the trauma and the flashbacks of the things that have happened to you you can also have abuse amnesia where you begin to forget certain episodes of abuse as it's easier than dealing with and processing out of fear and panic of the things that you have seen and the things that you have been through you begin to become withdrawn you begin to become defensive because you've been around someone that's criticized you and mocked you and humiliated you and shamed you and blamed you and offended you at each and every opportunity that you become a defensive person and then you question if you're the one that's the problem when you become angry and resentful, you become reactive and then you question whether you're the one that's the problem and a narcissistic person is going to brainwash you into believing that your reactions to their actions are the problem so that they can get away with their actions as without their actions, you would not be having those reactions. So when it comes to a narcissistic person, they're going to go all out to brainwash you so that they can get their needs met by you and then the negative effects that their brainwashing has on you they're going to use against you to claim that you're the one that's depressed you're the one that's anxious you're the one that they were trying to help but just could not help you 
And when you're living in that state, you can turn to things such as drugs and alcohol to help numb the pain. And then they're going to accuse you of being the alcoholic one, the drug addict. They were just trying to help after all. Now, this isn't a case of a narcissistic person who was that person before they met you and continues throughout each relationship doing these things to people. This is a case of you were all right, or you might not have even been all right, because the majority of us have something going on. However, they are going to go all out to destroy everything for you and then walk away from you while simultaneously blaming you for everything that's going wrong, not only in your life, but also within their life. And then when you go and process everything and work on yourself, you begin to create a better life for yourself while you notice they continue down the same path, creating the same problems for themselves and for those around them. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel is greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, this channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have a new book out which is 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people which is available on amazon if you'd like to check that out i shall add that into the video description also go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day bye